surprise! <laughs> Let me put this tea back there. And get this party started. Hey kids, welcome. I'm Belle, this is my classroom, and welcome to another video. This is not super fun and colorful unless I guess this is because it's about the beauty community, so makeup and I know I need some, whatever. But yeah, um, I know this is not my brand. <laughs> I mean, if I have one, this is not it. I'm not close to a drama channel at all. I swear I have a point and I'll make my point in the end of the video. So please, please, please watch this video until the end because I'm, I have a I have a message for you guys and it's an important one. But yeah, before I start the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, put in a video every single Friday. I know you're probably watching this on Friday. If you are subscribed, if you're not, come on, I'm waiting. Click the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Did you do it? Okay, so let's get started. So yeah, unless you're living under a rock, um, you know the Tati, James Charles, um, sugar bear hair situation. Uh, so yeah, I kind I don't really know um, James Charles James Charles that well, um, or or Tati. I don't really know a lot about them. I know more about James Charles because I think he he has become like huge lately. Like in the past couple of years, he has become huge. This huge thing, and I actually. I don't know a lot of beauty stuff. I mean, you can tell by looking at me. I have crazy, uh, <laughs> crazy dark circles and I don't wear makeup. I just wear makeup when I go out, when I go out to a wedding or to a party, to a fancy dinner or something. But if I don't, I don't wear makeup. Like, I don't wear makeup on my videos. Like, I don't have one video with makeup on. <laughs> I don't, so I'm sorry. Um, this is what you're gonna get, but I'm r real, <laughs> at least. This is who I really am. Um, so yeah, so I don't know a lot about, the, about beauty, makeup and stuff, but I know Shane Dawson. I love Shane Dawson. I have watched Shane Dawson since, I don't know, 2011, I guess, I don't know, but it's been a while. So I found out who Jeffree Star was through Shane Dawson and then I started watching Jeffree Star because I liked his personality, not because I like makeup, because I don't, <laughs> but I, I did like his personality so I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch more of this um, guy. I really, really liked him. And then um, through Jeffree Star I found James Charles and I had seen James Charles before because even though I don't live in the USA um, <laughs> I don't even live in an English-speaking country I live um, in a place that has a lot of billboards with James Charles face I don't know what like makeup company or stuff he's promoting I didn't check that but I I know that I had seen this face before and I was like okay I I got familiar with him and I I think like about a month ago I saw um, the video of James Charles, Jeffree Star and Tati. They were playing like uh, YouTube beauty community trivia or something. I don't really remember the name but they were playing something and that's how I found I found out who Tati was and I really liked her I thought she was super fun and so beautiful like she's gorgeous like that video is like an explosion of gorgeousness Jeffree Star, James Charles and Tati like they're all super gorgeous but you know not all of them are gorgeous on the inside too and I guess that's the point of this video because um, yeah uh, you know that uh, there was like a uh, this scandal going on between Tati and James um, about the the hair pills because Tati has a company called Halo and she makes hair pills similar to Sugar Bear hair 
sugar bear hair okay I said it right <laughs> sugar bear hair uh, which is her number one competitor and James Charles had the audacity to go on snapchat I don't I'm not sure if it if it was snapchat or Instagram stories but he he advertised sugar bear hair and he said that it was only because they helped him at Coachella because he was there and there was like a security thing going on and I guess sugar uh, bear hair company kind of helped him with something I, I'm not really sure I've never been to Coachella so I haven't I, I'm not sure but yeah they, he had a security problem and they helped him and he said that the that was the only reason he helped he advertised their product online uh, and then Tati when she saw it she went on her Instagram stories and she cried and said that she felt betrayed and I don't blame her I mean it was betrayal let's face it it was and the thing is with when you when you are friends with someone like really friends um, I mean I know that a lot of people are like it's just vitamins but it's not just that like it's a friendship and they were friends so she she was hurt by that and then Gabriel Zamora um, decided to open his mouth and start running his mouth talking about Tati and like he he, he thought he had the right to tell her how she should feel and he had no right in doing that because nobody has the right to tell somebody else how they should feel like he, he started talking about the problems around the world like oh people I don't know uh, people in na, 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 they have no right in being gay they can't be gay and people in I know they have a lot of problem and these uh, places have a lot to improve but that's an, that doesn't mean we can't feel sad because we don't live in one of these conditions you know so that was Tati mentioned um, so that was he mentioned about Tati he said that she was basically wrong feeling sad because of James because um, it was just vitamins um, which wasn't so yeah so yesterday last night so that's why I'm making this video on a Saturday <laughs> so last night she uh, made a video a 48 minute long video I I have to say I never like besides Shane Dawson's um, docu-series I had never watched a 48 minute long video without skipping and I didn't skip like not even a part I, it was really um, interesting to say the least but it was really um, mind-blowing <laughs> yeah it was I, I'm trying to look for adjectives to describe how I felt but anyway she talked about how it wasn't just vitamins she said that it wasn't just um, just about um, what we all saw it's the thing is it's never just about that there is always something else the, the thing is we live um, an online, a digital era and everything we see is superficial we don't know what's underneath the surface and that's kind of what she, she said in the video and then she, she talks a lot more about their relationship and how she doesn't want to be associated with him again and she mentioned something that got me like wow, I had no idea this happened but apparently James Charles has a thing for straight men and he has a thing for trying to turn a straight men gay <laughs> well <laughs> like do I even have to say anything that's so wrong so many levels like it's the, the same way nobody has the right to 
point a finger at somebody and say you, you have no right in being gay or you have no right in being a woman you have no right in being a lesbian that it doesn't work like that your sexuality is yours it's yours nobody has the right to tell you how you should feel how you should act how you should be you are you and I was horrified by that because like it's horrible <laughs> it's absolutely and she was like giving examples like situations and stuff he was being like really ex really explicit uh, like what he wanted to do with these people he was really graphic and these people were straight they were not gay and he knew that so, like if he didn't know that was okay um but he knew that and he continued doing that and he made fun of those situations on twitter he was like oh i like straight boys i like turning straight boys gay you don't turn people gay the same way you don't turn gay people straight you just don't do that i'm sorry i'm getting hot <laughs> yeah you just don't do that and the thing is the the like the message that i want to give in this video like my final thoughts are I know this happens a lot, especially when you're growing up. And when you're growing up, it's, you know, a part of your life that you're forming your personality and you're kind of, you know, you're forming who you be. And never let somebody tell you who, sh who you should be. Like, you should be gay. You should be straight. You should be this, you should be that, you should walk a certain way, you should act a certain way, you should walk a certain way, you should talk a certain way. No. You should be you, you should be who you are. And if you have questions about who you are, like even your sexuality, I know when you're growing up that happens a lot. Like I've dealt a lot with that, like with my students. And my advice is talk to someone who you trust and open your heart and just talk to somebody who cares about you who cares for you because there's there are so many people in this world who are narcissistic just like james charles he's a narcissist and i know that a lot of people like to throw that word that word like it's nothing like i'm such a narcissist i i like to look in the mirror all the time no that that's like a serious word you know that's not funny that's not cute like people talk about OCD like it's nothing it is a disease it's something that's a, like if you are narcissistic that's a personality trait and that's something you have to deal with you have to go to therapy you have to get help so that's what I have to say I doubt James Charles will ever watch this video because I'm no one <laughs> but if he does i just want to say james charles seek help you need it you need it bad because you're a teenager you're still 19 i think he's 19 years old you're 19 years old you're still a teenager these things can damage you clearly at some point somebody made a mistake i don't know if it was your parents or whatever i don't know his story but clearly somebody made a mistake and that's how you became who you are and that's how you started messing up with people's mind people's lives out there and that's just wrong seek help seek help that's okay you can do that that's normal seeking help is normal that's okay even if like even if you have no traumas even if you had a, like a, a great life a great childhood it's okay to go like um, do some therapy and seek help so that's the message i want to give don't let anyone tell you who you should be you should be you whether you're gay straight trans you are you you are you and there is only one of you so be who you are because when you are who you are you will change this world when you are who you are 
But if you listen to these people, you won't change the world. You won't have such a big impact in the world anymore. So don't follow these people. Don't follow. Don't listen to people who don't care about you. Because people like that, narcissistic people, they just care for themselves. They don't care for anyone else. Like James Charles never cared for um, Tati or Jeffrey or anyone. He just cares for himself. And honestly, not even for himself. He thinks he does. But he's getting a little difficult. And he needs to seek help because I, this can go out of hand eventually. So yeah, that was the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, um, comment below if you have ever suffered any kind of prejudice for being who you are, uh, if you was ever like treated differently, I know that I have. If um, I know that I, I, I have on my channel a video called My Teacher Bullied Me and it was uh, my ballet teacher. I was a ballet dancer for 14 years and my ballet teacher bullied me and she called me fat and she called me a whole bunch of horrible things and um, at the end of the day I it didn't define who I was and don't let what people who don't care about you say you know define who you are because you're more than that you're unique and there is only one of you Right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I see you next Friday for a brand new video. Bye!